So we just got done hitting it with our scotch bright belt. This is just a medium scotch bright belt right here. So we did our 120 grit belt, which was the first one that you saw. But just with that and the scotch bright belt, you can already see the Hamon line popping up here. It doesn't stand out a ton when it's just sanded, but you can actually see the Hamon line going across here and it works all the way across this to the tip I really wish that it would show up better on the camera but of course you see it a little bit the line coming up through here too but that Hamon turned out absolutely awesome in person you can see it really well but what we got to do now is we got to start hand sanding once we get done hand sanding then we can go ahead and acid etch it and do that but uh, I think what I'm going to do first is we're going to do maker's mark and then we're going to hand sand and then we're going to etch it and then hand sand some more but that's what we're looking like right there really liking this profile so far I think this is turning out awesome and we're just going a couple of seconds at a time around it just to make sure that everything is nice and dark but we're not trying to go too crazy with it and you can see it bubbling a little bit on the side there We do want to go a little bit deep because we are going to be hand sanding this. But you want it to still stand out. But we're not going super crazy. Alright. Let's check it out. Check that out. That turned out absolutely awesome. I am thankful for my wife making these and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I've got a whole bunch of them. And this was just made on the Cricut. So I am going to be doing a whole video on this. So y'all will have that in the future. A video talking about this whole assembly that I have going on here. Let's zoom y'all out. I wanted to show y'all this, so I got it all open right now. So this is just the internal board from that. Let's unplug it. This is just the internal board from that card charger and then this was the control panel board right here and then I got the little fan and everything but this typically sits down on the bottom here but I wanted to show you all it there we go just like that top goes over it and the cool thing is, while it's stored and everything, I take and I put all of this stuff inside of it. So, whenever it's stored, I can take the power cable, the leads, everything. store everything inside the box where, 
before, I had this set up to where it was a, a car charger. So those cables were just always out. There was no storage or anything like that. But now I've got this and I could take it and easily put it away and it stores real easily. So like I said, I'm going to be making a video based on this and the stencils and all that stuff, but give y'all a little heads up on what to look forward to. So from this angle, you can actually see the Hamon line going across there. Just right there. And that is just with a Scotch Brite finish on it. <laughs> that is crazy. Now you can really start seeing that Hamon standing out right there. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. I didn't know if I was going to be able to see it, the camera, this well, but there you go. There's our Hamon line. And this is pre-acid etching or anything like that to bring it out. This is just purely what it looks like with just the steel sanded. So that's definitely turning out awesome. So this is what it looks like, you see the Hamon line all the way down the edge with just sanding. So we're going to see if we can intensify that. We're not going to put it in the acid for very long, just maybe 15 20 seconds and then we're going to clean it so once we've acid etched it a couple of times for about a minute each we're just going to come through with a thousand grit sandpaper and just go over the whole thing and I'll probably end up doing this a few times until I get the exact finish that I want on here and it nice and even but this will give you an idea of what it's going to start looking like as we're going through the process it looks pretty cool doesn't it so we're going to go ahead do this probably a couple more times and then we'll uh, talk about it in the outro but that gives you an idea of what we're going for. So let's keep at it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Now, I would say that this was a success. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think that M online popped out really well. I am super, super, super happy with that. And hopefully this is something that would make a person who hasn't done this before more confident in going ahead and doing it. Remember, all we did was wrap some wire around this, use some fireplace mortar right here in a tube, and uh, then we made sure that we did, of course, the right heat treat process, and we quenched it 
and Parks 50. And we were able to create an awesome Hamon line. Something that hopefully again will make it to where y'all are more comfortable trying to do this. That was the whole point behind doing this whole process and showing it to y'all is for one I wanted it on this particular knife but two the, the whole point behind all these videos is to make it to where y'all can do this stuff and y'all can replicate this so there you go I want to know what y'all think about this do y'all think that that turned out awesome do y'all think that this is you know a success is this something that y'all are going to try out if it is awesome um, one of the things that I didn't exactly show in the process of the whole acid etch and everything was what I neutralized this in. Now, you can neutralize it with Windex. I do that pretty often, but I use baking soda and I also use a tube like this that has a mixture of distilled water and baking soda. So this right here is what I'll typically go through and neutralize the acid and make sure everything's good on it. And then of course we sand everything off and all that, but I'm really excited about this. Now, the next step is starting the handle process, which is probably the most daunting or scary part of this particular build because I have not done that yet. This is gonna be a first and it's gonna be interesting trying this out, but Hopefully, again, y'all are excited about the direction of this. And guys, that is the end of this one. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. Check this out, and I will see y'all next time.